Hi guys, today I am going to talk about the importance of training in any aspect of our lives. Have you, uh, can you imagine driving a car without learning how to drive a car? And when you drive, when you learn to drive a car, there is always a learned car driver sitting next to you giving you exact instructions on how to drive a car step by step and that is how you learn how to drive a car then you practice on your own you drive on the smaller streets then you drive on the highways and you get perfect at it that is how i learned to drive a car now imagine learning to drive a car from somebody who does not know how to drive a car or just driving a car without having the knowledge and the training on how to drive a car it is um, in in such a situation you are only going to lead to accidents one after the other and the more you sustain yourself without any training the more accidents the the more accidents are going to happen it is not only going to hurt you but it is going to hurt others also this I realized just lately when I took my PMP certification I took um, training from Knowledge Hut where uh, I was assigned a technical expert uh, uh, a PMP expert who had um, who, who was himself a PMP trained project manager PMP certified project manager and who had trained many others to become the same and that's when I realized the importance of learning from somebody who is actually an industry expert who is actually doing what he's prescribing to do or what theoretically he's telling how to do he is implementing it in real life similarly when I took Dan Locke's training in high ticket sales uh, on how to close sales that's when I realized that all along uh, myself and other people how they were doing the sales all wrong I was never into sales before but because I'm running my own business now I have to do selling and I have to know how to sell and that's when I realized that everybody else I think 80% of them are doing it all wrong and that is when that is only uh, when I took Dan Lok's training that I realized that 80% of them are all doing it all wrong and that that's why not getting the results for the same I have also seen my colleagues appearing for uh, technical training exams like Microsoft SharePoint certification uh, without any formal training they would take the exams and I love them dearly but without training they would take the exams and then they would fail one time two times three times and the fourth time they would pass uh, you know some have those coupons to appear for the same exam the fourth time but recently I saw young children who appeared for um, Java certification exam uh, by Oracle and uh, they just had one attempt to pass the exam they were freshers they didn't have any experience but they appeared for the exam without any training and they failed the exam and the whole 12,000 rupees that was the exam fees was lost they have to re-register for the exam that amount is actually their one month's paycheck which is huge considering that it is a one month's paycheck for them so my point here is that uh, people are appearing uh, for exams and people are um, up entering into entrepreneurship like me five six years ago I tried to become an entrepreneur all by myself without any training I bumped into so many things some things I did right sometimes some things I did wrong but if I had formal training in entrepreneurship and not from the MBA colleges because most of the professors in the MBA colleges don't have their own businesses they don't understand the intricacies of running a business they don't understand a cash flow situation they don't understand you know how it is practically to uh, uh, to service a client uh, they just have theoretical knowledge so learning entrepreneurship from somebody who is an entrepreneur who has made it himself and who is teaching others to do so that is the case uh, which is happening right now while i am um, getting mentored by dev who himself is a passion trainer, who himself has his own clientele and who is uh, teaching his mentees how to um, become a brand yourself and he has um, a lot of things that he did right and a lot of things that he did wrong but he is only teaching us things that he did right so that we don't have to go through the struggle that he did 
and it kind of uh, becomes a fast lane for all of us. So, I think training in every aspect of our life, whatever it is, you know, or talking to people who have done what you're trying to do is very, very important and it should not be underestimated, whether it is SharePoint certification, whether it is Java certification, whether it is PMP certification, whether it is becoming an entrepreneur, whether uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, becoming a high ticket sales expert, whether uh, anything in life, you know, anything, whether it's driving a car, you know, you don't want to drive without learning how to drive a car and you want to learn from somebody who has already, um, who knows how to drive a car and who has taught others how to drive a car. So that's what my, my point is that training is very, very important. Uh, it should not be underestimated and whatever, whatever you try to do, uh, talk to people who have already done it learn from them learn from their mistakes and try not to repeat their mistakes again uh, that's it for today thank you